at CERN, the Cray 2 supercomputer was our most powerful computational device. If 20 years of Moore's Law has put that same power into the palm of my hand with the iPhone. And that very same shift from mainframe to smartphone is happening in space right now as we replace our aging monolithic large satellites that cost billions of dollars and often decades delayed with rapidly evolving and developing CubeSat satellites. And we, at NanoSatisfy, we launch satellites. As a matter of fact, this is one of our CubeSats. We have three more awaiting completion in dump space, and we fill in with camera, microprocessors, and a host of sensors, some of which have never been put onto a satellite this size. Now, what is the first use that we put this device to? Science and technology are at the core of innovation that drive our economic growth. Yet over the next few years alone, we are short over a million graduates in those core fields. And why? Because we bore our kids to death in textbooks. Now imagine if tomorrow your child comes home and says, Mom, today I controlled a satellite in space and not I read a textbook. Now we've built our Autosat Control Center to be incredibly simple and intuitive to use so you get to space in minutes. And we link in our educational videos and quizzes which teach you everything you need to know. And we've even built ready-made code that you can drop in and with a click of a button, your imagination goes to space. No need to be a rocket scientist anymore. You can do it, and so can your kid. Now this is just the start of this ongoing revolution of who gets access to space. So we've built apps in orbit, our version of the App Store, where today you get to sign up to become a certified space developer and get access to our SDK for space and start building applications for our satellites. Now today we are talking single satellites, but tomorrow you will be able to take advantage of our growing constellation of satellites, each one equipped with cameras, powerful sensors, and communication capabilities. Imagine a future where a teacher tells his students, please turn on your satellite and not to turn to page 57. Or you can take a quick picture real time from your home to make sure that you turn off your lights and close the garage door. Or we can build a powerful pre-warning system to prevent millions of homes to be without power and potentially billions of dollars in damages for power companies, airlines, utilities, as we had because of a solar storm in 2003. This is the future of mobile. Today, ubiquitous access to the cloud. Tomorrow, ubiquitous access to space. 24-7, real-time, and in HD. And this is not science fiction. This is real, and it's happening right now. And we are now satisfied. We are passionate about bringing space to you. Thank you.